Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So here goes Kendrick Perkins saying LeBron needs to retire to protect his legacy. And I somewhat agree, man. Like, you have done everything. You will never be the GOAT in my eyes, but you're in the top five. You're in my top five. You have done great for yourself. You're all time great. You're a legend. Nobody's going to argue that. What more to play for? Unless you just want to keep piling on stats, you know, stat padding, you know, to pile on more stats. So it's harder for anybody to break your records unless that's the goal. But beyond that, I mean, what more is there left to do? I understand you love playing basketball. I dig it. But if you care about winning, you would basically take a pay cut or, you know, make certain moves so the team could get better if you want to win. And you got to stop blaming coaches, role players, and, you know, be responsible. But at this stage, man, I don't see the point. Like, they keep losing, and every season it's the same thing. He gets upset. He's complaining about the coach, the coaching, the coaching staff, you know, his teammates. They threw Darvin Ham under the bus. They fired the man. It ain't his fault. They fired the man, and LeBron wouldn't listen to Darvin Ham. The man disrespected Darvin Ham all season long, and that trickled down because if LeBron is disrespecting Darvin Ham, what do you think the others are going to do? They're going to follow suit. So they disrespected Darvin Ham all season long, didn't listen to him. Genie Bus said his job was secured, and they fired him because they wanted to keep LeBron happy and keep LeBron in L.A. because you know LeBron, that's Genie Bus cash cow. So somebody got to get sacrificed. They fired Darvin Ham, blamed this man for everything. It's his fault. But last year, he got him to the Western Conference Finals. And this year, whatever he had to work with, he got him into the playoff and they fired him. And I agree with Kendrick Perkins, man. At this point in time, LeBron just needs to retire. You had a great career. You're a legend. You know, you're all time great. Nobody's going to question that. Just hang it up, man. Just hang it up. Because I feel like the more he plays, keep losing, stat padding, you know, creating super teams or joining stack teams and he keeps losing, you're only hurting your legacy. And I do agree with that wholeheartedly. You keep playing stacking teams, keep getting bounced in the first round, missing the playoffs. You dudes could barely make it in the playoffs, sneaking in the playing games. It's gotten so bad that dudes is barely making it into the playing games. That is crazy. The Lakers are limping into the playoff. Like every season, they're barely making it in. Is this what you want? I mean, if you say you really care about winning, you would have taken a pay cut so they could have more funds available to get more pieces to upgrade the team if you really cared about winning. But apparently, LeBron, he won it all. He won to win. He also won to get paid. And we all know sacrifices has to be made. If you want to win, you got to make some sacrifices. And at this point in time, LeBron is not pressed financially. I'm not saying you shouldn't get paid, but I'm saying if you say you want to win. Look at Tim Duncan. Later on in his career in San Antonio, he took a lot of pay cuts so they could continue to win championships. That's being unselfish, selfless, if you really care about winning. But LeBron, he don't care about winning. He claims he cares about winning. But he won't take pay cuts. You know, he's asking for more money. And if that's the case, how can the team get better? So don't complain. And then you blame the coach. You throw the coach under the bus. You throw all the role players under the bus. When things don't work out, it's everybody's fault but your own. Zero accountability. And if you're a Laker fan, you got to be tired, man. If you are a Laker fan, you have to be tired. Like, man, I'm tired of this shit. So I do agree with Kendrick Perkins, you know, if he want to play, that's his business. But honestly, what more is there left to do? It's either you care about winning championships or you just want to struggle to make it to the playoffs in the playing games. What do you care about LeBron? At this point in time, what do you care about? So this is what Kendrick Perkins had to say. I hate to say this, but I believe it in my soul. I wish LeBron would retire. Not because I don't want to see more of LeBron James or appreciate him, but I honestly believe the more LeBron James continues to play the game of basketball, the more it's going to hurt his legacy, and the more it's going to continue to hurt the GOAT argument. And he is right. The GOAT argument, that's already over. That's been over. That should have never been a thing. But since it is a thing, 
I do agree. The more LeBron plays, loses early, get bounced early, miss the playoffs, struggle to get into playing, it's going to hurt his legacy. Yes, he could keep stacking accolades, you know, keep adding on to the scoring record, you know, so it's even harder to reach. And he could do all that. Great. But as far as his legacy, it is going to hurt his legacy, especially when you're playing with a top 75 in Anthony Davis. That make it even worse. You got a Hall of Famer on your team, and y'all dude is barely struggling to make it into the eighth seed? That is not a good look, man. So I do agree with Kendrick Perkins. The best thing you could do is just hang it up. You had a great run. Kendrick Perkins continues. As long as he steps onto the floor every season, there's going to be an expectation on him winning championship. When he doesn't do that, we're going to look at him and go, what happened now? So that's what Kendrick Perkins had to say. The man is still averaging 25 points, 7 rebounds, and over 8 assists. So he's still playing at a pretty high level, but it's not equating to winning. Even though he's putting up all these great stats, you know, it looks good on paper. But if you watch the games, it's not impacting winning. Yes, he have, you know, he's still averaging 25. He's still putting up great numbers. But are they winning? The Lakers struggle to barely make it into the playoffs. Even with Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell, who's an all-star, and a good cast. And when they finally got to the playoffs, they played a great series against Denver for three quarters, but they can't close. And that's on the stars, LeBron and AD. They can't close games, hence why they got bounced in round one. Kendrick Perkins also had to say this about, you know, the firing of Darvin Ham. This situation in particular Looks bad with him and Darvin Ham. Number one, think about last year when the Lakers were all-star break. Rob Palenka made a couple of trades to bring in Rui Hachimura and D'Lo. LeBron James was out for a majority of the end of the season, and Darvin Ham coached his behind off with Anthony Davis leading the way to get them into the playoffs and then the Western Conference Finals. You know, and Kendrick Perkins, he's right. Darvin Ham did that. He did coach his butt off to get them into the playoffs and LeBron was out. And fast forward to this season, the man got fired. Because they lost to Denver, which is a clearly superior team, the man got fired for that? So Darvin Ham's expectation was to defeat Denver? Like, I don't get it. But overall, man, it's the same old song every season. You know, they make trades, bring in new players. Everything is okay for a little bit. Then LeBron gets upset. Oh, we're losing. The team is not good. It's always excuses. And somebody got to get scapegoated. You know, the coaches are always in hot waters. Their jobs are never secure. It's just a mess. And at this point, I agree, man. LeBron just needs to retire, hang it up. You had a great run. Let the young boys have it, man. You have Anthony Edward. He's a beast. You have Nicola in Denver. You know, you have Shea with OKC. You know. I mean, you have the Kings, you have the Pacers on the East. There's a lot of upcoming teams. All these are young teams, man. Let these dudes have it, man, and just ride off into the sunset so the Lakers could rebuild and actually start looking toward the future, man. You know, but we're going to see what happened this offseason, this summer. What new moves are made by Rob Palenka, you know, and the Lakers organization. We're going to see. But as always, I'll holla. As always. We just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.